Hey, what's up? Welcome to another Photoshop. Wait, what, what, what? What, what, what is this? This is, this is Vegas. Whoa, whoa, wrong program. Hello. Huh. Well, I'm not going to change programs now. What, what am I going to do in here? What am I going to do in Vegas? Now I have to think about this. Hmm. Oh, got it. Prototype titler. Let me show you a little bit about the prototype titler here in Vegas. <laughs> that was a dramatic entrance, but it's okay because this is a dramatic tutorial. We're going to go over here to the media generators, in case you didn't know, where the prototype titler is in Vegas. Click prototype titler, bring in the empty preset, and now we're in the prototype titler dialog box, which we can do everything we want to do in the prototype titler dialog box. I don't know. Okay, what I'm going to show you is different things and different features of the prototype title that you can do. Some of you may be, uh, may have been or are still using the regular text presets in Vegas, but no, you got to use the prototype titler. It's, uh, it's more flexible and it allows you to do a lot more in Vegas. So I just got out of the dialog box. And I want to go back in, so I come over here and click the uh, little right generated media button on the top right hand corner of our media, of our text. And here I have the, the window. Now, up here you got your frame size. Update your, pra your frame size, however you want it to be. We got a length. Awkwardly, it's at like 9 seconds and 29 milliseconds, I believe that is. Which is a strange default number. It's really really odd should be at 10 seconds um, and what we can do what we got here is our properties window on this side this is going to show us all of our properties right now it's at our preview properties because we're previewing our workspace now I'm going to zoom out here see this brown square box you want to make sure you keep your text within this square box especially if you're going to be putting your stuff on TV or uh, DVDs because you know it's always best to make sure that um, your text stays on the TV that's what this is for it'll show you the title safe zone anything in here is guaranteed to be on your TV any TV or a web video hosting site such as YouTube now this tan colored box anything outside of this box will not even render in your video so don't even put text outside of this box because it, it won't render okay you can change the color of this brown box in case you don't like the color <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry in case you don't like the color brown you can change the background color from black you know to white to a custom color in case you're pretty in pink and you want pink safe area you can uh, increase or decrease the safe area zone right here but uh, you know it's not recommended you do that because what if I increase the size and it's like way out of zone or decrease it? So it was around 19 or something. Okay. And you can change the defaults, font size, and font family, font style, what you want it to be as set as a default. Now, to create text, all we have to do is come over here, click this plus icon, add new text block, or double click in the workspace. Now you can choose each one and if you're indecisive this is gonna take a long time for you to choose which one you're gonna use so I wanna add text I'm a little indecisive <laughs> what am I gonna do am I gonna double click or am I gonna click the little plus button double click plus button double click you sit there all day work this out I'm just going to oh god I can't even can't even I don't even know what to do now I'm gonna click the plus button and this creates our new text block we can add text type in some text change the font style size the weight whether whether we want it bold or not uh, if we want it slanted you know styles you can change the color add strike through underline open type you can change different settings of your text there as well now you got two other choices now to exit this text edit mode you can press escape on your keyboard or you can click up here to exit so <laughs> again if you're indecisive Oh man, you, you wouldn't know what to do. Okay, so now that we've exited that, we're in our simple regular text block. What we can do in our text block is we can uh, set animations, 
we can set rotations, uh, where it is on the screen, we can add effects such as gradient fills, Gaussian blurs, glow, drop shadows, and change the layout as well. Okay, so I want to show you another thing. Another way to get into text edit mode is either you can double click this text, or you can come up here and hit this little eye to edit the text. Once again, there's two different methods for pretty much everything in Vegas. So I'm going to click the little eye and you can edit the text again. Make sure you have your whole text selected if you want to change the font, style, and the size, and weight, and so on. Now, over here you get your parent and you get your child. Yeah, Prototype Titler includes a parent and a child. Okay, you can navigate to the child or you can navigate to the parent now. When I click this, the web browser is not going to pop up with the GPS unit tracking the parent or the child. What it's going to do is it's going to, well, let me, let me show you. I'm going to click navigate to child and it selects one single word within my sentence. So if I have a sentence there, it's going to select each individual word. Now, if I have one word, obviously it's not going to select itself again. So it's going to actually select a single letter. So if we navigate the child again, it's at the single letter. And what this is used for is like you can resize it and you can rotate it and position it wherever you want to within a word for each individual letter. So if I click these little arrows here, I can navigate to each individual letter and uh, increase the sizes and so on. I can also navigate to parent, select a single word, and rotate that entire thing, or animate it as well. What you got here is your maintain aspect ratio button, and what this does is it just, you know, keeps the aspect ratio for when I resize it and size it down. If I don't have this checked, it'll allow me to resize it in different ways that sometimes doesn't make it look good, so keep that checked if you want. Over here, you got your uh, different panning and zoom buttons. So if I double click this pan button, it'll take me to the center here. So in this case, it's like if I'm zoomed in and I don't know where the center is, just double click here and it'll take you to the center. Zoom out. You got these positive and negative buttons, which will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. Or you can click and drag this forward and back to zoom in and zoom out. Same thing with the pan. If you click and hold it and move it around, you can just move around kind of like a joystick here. Right here, you got your play, your pause, your stop buttons. And what these do is play the animation that you've created down here in the timeline. And right here, you got your different presets that come with the prototype titler. We'll talk about those here in just a little bit. Now, let's say I want to add an animation of some credits rolling through our video at the end. You can come over here, you know, and I believe there is a text... Uh, preset for credits but this is a lot more flexible and you can change a lot more things here uh, in prototype titler so let me add a few text lines to make it look we we'll pretend that it's credits and you know that can go for ever on and on and on because I, I know some movies they have like three hours of credits so if you have three hours of credits to put in there go ahead and put it all now what we want to do is drag the entire text block below the actual title safe zone, the, the uh, tan line. And we want to animate this to go up. Now to do this, we want to come over here and make sure that our little cursor here on our timeline is at the beginning, set at 0, 0. And we're going to come over here and select uh, the toggle automation button for the Y offset. Now click and drag this cursor all the way to the end of the timeline and bring the Y offset up so the text goes past our safe zone here and there we have our animation so if I come in here and I click play from start you can see that the text animates from the bottom to the top You can also do this from side to side. Just make sure the cursor is at home and toggle automation for the X offset and do the same thing from side to side. Now I'm going to delete this text by hitting delete on my keyboard. 
And I want to show you one real quick thing. Let's say you want to put copyright. So I want to put copyright 2010. But I want to get that little copyright symbol, and I don't really want to. I don't. I don't. How do I? I don't have a copyright symbol on my keyboard. If you do, that's amazing. But what you can do is you can right click and enter punctuations and symbols, and this will come up with a little tip here, which you can select the copyright symbol and all these other symbols as well. So I'm going to click copyright, and as you can see, it's copyright 2010 now. Also, you can change the orientation from horizontal to vertical. So it's up and down, vertical text. I'm going to change it back to horizontal, and I'm going to delete this text. Now, I want to add one of these presets down here. So I'm going to click Collections, and I like this Jump preset right here. If you hover over these presets, it'll show you down here in the preview window, and all you have to do to add them into the... Uh, Timeline is click and drag them down. Now, where's the text? What you can do is drag the cursor along, then double click on your text and change the text. Then escape, and now what you wrote there is all jumpy as well. And you can also add gradients different effects and curves. Another thing I want to show you here real quick is you can actually path this text. So if I come over here to the uh, text block properties, select the layout tab, hit enable path. As you can see, it'll enable a path and we can add different key points here and just manipulate this path. To delete a key point, right click and select delete. So there you have a basic idea of how to use the prototype titler. If you have any questions, just send me a message through YouTube or my email address at robert at robertsproductions.net. I hope this helped. Hopefully, we'll have some more Vegas tutorials mixed in with some Photoshop tutorials here in the future. If you have any Vegas tutorials that you want uh, to submit or give us an idea of what to do next, you can fill that out in the moderation box on our channel. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, and uh, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bye.